Hi, my name is Asha Ranson, and this is my final vlog for theater. Um, I'm going to talk about the Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, um, and it's kind of a unique type of movie. It's sort of romantic, um, with a little bit of sci-fi, um, but also a dramedy, um, so it's kind of got everything in it. Um, it's a movie uh, filmed in 2004, and it was directed by Michelle Gondry and written by Charlie Kaufman. Um, some of the cast members, um, the two main characters, Jim Carrey plays Joel and Kate Winslet plays Clementine. Um, just a brief overview of the story. It's about a couple that went through a bad breakup and ultimately led Clementine to go to an institution to erase her memory of Joel. Um, which then leads Joel to try to do the same and then he starts to regret his decision while he's going through these um, erases and his memory and starts to try and um, go back on his word and try to claim those uh, memories in his mind while also getting Clementine back. Um, some of the mise-en-scene features, um, in the opening scene um, we see Joel um, in his bed. It's like a slow fade-in towards his bedroom and the angle is right above his head where his eyes open um, as he wakes up in the morning. Um, and this just sets and like highlights the cold, sad feeling um, in his room. Um, leading to this, um, some of the light source, especially in the first scene, um, is only his uh, bedroom window, which just shows in some natural light through his blinds. Um, and due to the angle shot um, of it in the middle of the scene, it creates um, a darkness in the edges of the frame to create a silhouette figure as Joel gets up in his bed, um, which also creates just kind of a darker feel to the mood of the uh, movie, which sets the tone that the movie isn't just the brightest of things to lead to. Um, and then while in his room and throughout the movie, the bluish tint of the scene just um, lets the uh, audience know that it's morning time and it's just the start of the day. Um, some things that we can see, um, especially in the train scene, um, is a unique effect because the train scene um, is where it shows a huge crowd of people and you can barely see um, Joel in the film. Which also lets the audience know that of uh, his smallest absence in in the world and how he feels so little compared to everybody else in the world. Um, when we first meet Clementine, we see that she's wearing a bright orange jacket with bright blue hair, um, and it makes it so she stands out. And she also doesn't care what others think, and so that just creates a vibe of what her character will be like throughout the film. Um, and that she also plays a major role in the film and will create that effect. Um, some of the big features, um, like color, is a huge thing. Um, Joel wears faded pastel colors showing that he has a bland personality and maybe not as much to offer with um, how society thinks we do. Um, Clementine, on the other hand, has a very bright outlook on life, um, especially with her unmatched clothing and her vibrant colors, showing that she's unique and she has a very different personality but also a very flamboyant personality. Um, and through the entire film, the colors are cold with blues and blacks and some grays. Um, that makes Clementine stand out um, and also shows the contrast between her character and Joel's character, um, which also creates a depressing feel. Um, and then the music um, is also a very um, big part of the film, which creates the quirkiness of the film um, and also sets the tone to create that emotional pull. Um, I really enjoyed this movie, especially with its um, little jump cuts here and there, and it's kind of Hitchcock feel. Um, but I would definitely recommend this film for everyone, and thank you for your time. I don't know.